Let me ask you just one question. Do you want to take your game to that next level? If the answer is yes, then you are not alone. You see, every player from beginner to pro strives to up their game every time they get back to the table. Come with me as I show you proven techniques that have helped me in my quest to become a better player. I am not a beginner, nor am I a professional. I am an average guy on a mission. That mission is to take my game to new heights. Along the way, I hope to inspire and help you in yours. I am Ron, the pool student. Hey, pool players. I want to talk about something that not a lot of people do talk about. And it's something that I discovered as I started to use English on the cue ball. And in particular, inside English. And what I have here, and I'm going to demonstrate here just shortly with uh, several shots to prove what I'm talking about. I've got paper reinforcements so that I can duplicate my shot every time. The first one right here where the object ball is, is on the first diamond and it's on the center line of the table. Okay, the other one here is uh, just another drill that I have. Uh, it's not quite to the third diamond from the corner. It's just short of it, about probably a ball and a ball off the rail. So I've got about a 30 degree cut angle going back into this pocket. And I will say this, that the different uh, cut angles will affect this shot and what I'm about to describe differently. Also, speed will affect this shot differently. So what is happening, the physics behind this, when we're hitting inside spin, the cue ball is traveling in, in this case, because the cut shot is back to the right, and we're hitting inside, so we're putting counterclockwise spins. So the ball, the cue ball is going to come in and hit the object ball, and it's going to be wrenching or gearing against this ball. And what it does, like I say, the physics is it grabs the ball and throws it in that direction, away from the corner, away from the cut angle that we're that we think we're seeing. So we've got to compensate for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot several times. I'll shoot it without any inside. I'll shoot it at slow speed and at a faster speed. And you're going to see that there's going to be a huge difference in that. And then I'll also shoot it further. So the cue ball is further up table. So the angle is more severe of a cut coming back in. And in that case, we don't hit a lot of the object ball, so there's not a, a, as much of, of a full hit, and it won't have that effect so much. But when we're in here, at this angle, we're hitting the ball a little more full, and that cue ball will physically grab that object ball, like I say, and pull it away from the, I say pull it, because it's not pushing, it's pulling. It's grabbing it, and it's moving it away. Fascinating stuff. So let's check out the video here and I'll prove what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna make two shots that are just gonna be center ball. Center hit on the cue ball, just cutting it in the corner. Let's see what that looks like. Very simple. Okay, now I'm gonna apply some inside spin. I'm gonna aim exactly the same, the same cut angle, same speed also. Do it again. See how much off that is? I mean, that, that ball hit right here. I mean, that's a full ball away from the pocket. Now I'm gonna up the speed a little bit. Same location, inside spin, with more speed. Not much difference. Now I'm gonna up the speed just a little bit more. It's getting better. You see that? Rattled a little bit that time. 
Now I'm going to give it a little bit more speed. See that? Give it a little bit of a stroke. I went right through it there, nice loose hand, stroked it in. Now I realize sometimes you don't want to hit it too firm because you got to have position, so you just have to make an adjustment then, and you got to plan to overcut the ball. So and rather than aim it directly as you see the cut shot, you want to overcut it when you're hitting at a slower speed. Fascinating stuff, the, the physics behind this. Let me show you also if we have a steeper angle. Okay, now this angle right here was where we were. So now what happens if I come up here just a little bit? What I find is that you, I'm still gonna play the inside, but I don't have to compensate so much, even at slow speed, because I'm not gonna grab the object ball with as much of a full hit. You see that? So it doesn't gear effect against the ball. My suggestion, if you're not used to using inside spin, is to get yourself some paper reinforcements and put those on your table in a couple spots because you can then duplicate the shot and then shoot the shot over and over again and pay close attention to how much inside spin you're putting on the cue ball. And you can do this with outside as well, but in this case, we're talking inside spin. So just look at the reaction of what happens from when you hit center ball to when you start to apply that inside position with the tip of the cue stick. Big difference, the laws of physics. When that cue ball is coming in there counterclockwise, okay, it's not running, it's inside. It's, it's, it does crazy things to the object ball. And you'll know right away what I'm talking about. Once you gather that information, that knowledge, then throughout a game, because a lot of people, I will tell you this, I myself included when I first started using it, I, I thought, oh, I got that shot, it's super simple, very close. I went to shoot it, missed it by a mile. Wow, what happened? And it took me a little bit before I figured out what was really going on. No one really told me, but I just started experiment, experimenting with it, and I discovered what was really happening. And you know, a lot of people don't really talk about this that I see online that much, but I think they just kind of take it for granted. Uh, it's, it's, it's throwing the object ball away from the pocket because of this, the gear effect that the cue ball has on the object ball, fascinating. Give it a try guys, leave some comments, let me know how it worked for you. I think some of you that have not tried this might be surprised. Good luck in your practices.